We've got the 2010, it says, Nissan DX Terra, off-road edition. It's got the chubby rubber. Uh, customer complaint is uh, no blower motor at all. No high, no low, no nothing. Here, let me hop in here, folks. So that seems to work. I can hear that stuff moving. I can hear that stuff moving. So it doesn't seem like the HVAC is unresponsive. It simply seems that there's no blower motor. Where's that baby live on this little guy? Ouch. Uh, let's see. Move some of the Rona equipment here. Let's see if I'm getting the Rona. And what do we got? Oh, right up in there. Well, that's easy. Let's go get a test light. What do we have here, folks? Well, let's see. We've got the key on. We've got it cranked up on high. Let's give it the old Fonz first. The old Fonz Rally. Hey! <laughs> Works better in the movies, I guess. Let me get a good ground here. I like to go off the door uh, latches. They are usually shiny and grounded well. And then, uh, let's see if we can't. Stupid Nissan. Get this thing out. Is that thing got to come out first or no? Looks like it's one of those deals. Maybe not. There, look at them. Look at them potatoes. Oh, we got a power. We got a ground. Negative Ghost Rider. Yeah, we just got power, no ground. So the ground is probably done through the resistor, would be my guess. Which looks like that's probably this thing over here. Well, which one's the power? The, okay, wait, with green is power, the blue. Is a grounder, but usually when your resistor dies, typically you still have high speed. Because usually that doesn't run through it. But what the heck do I know? Looks like in this case it possibly does. That's interesting. Uh, what's interesting is we've got a power. That looks like a power, probably. The same color as what's at the motor. Black is probably the ground. This looks like one of them fancy air computer controlled there ones there. Let's see, is that a power and a ground there? Whammo. We got power and a ground. So we got a white with a green stripe as the power. The black is the ground. The blue, I assume, is the same one that comes out to here. You know what I'm saying? And then we've got a small wire, a light green. That's probably like a duty cycle control from the head unit. Let me pull this, get down here. This is just a wire retainer here. Um, we're gonna have to look at a, so typically you'll see a setup like this on a uh, automatic HVAC one, you know what I mean? One with the auto button, usually you don't see it on the, on your classic high, medium, low style. So, I just want to slit this a little bit because we're going to have to get in here. So, I just want to open it up just a smidge to provide us with some room for probage. We'll trim that off so it looks normal. So, that would be my guess. So, looking at this. I'm going to assume power and ground. The big blue is going to be the control coming out of the blower resistor, you know, to the motor to control the motor. And then that little wire is probably duty cycle controlled. Uh, let's go grab our little U scope. Uh, that would probably be the fastest way to tell. Uh, well, actually, the fastest way to tell would be just look it up. Um, but we'll give it the old poke and hope and see what happens. The old classic poke and hope only works in certain situations. So we'll let this little guy fire up here. What do we have? Two volts per division, probably close enough. Uh, I'm going to grab us a ground. 
Oops. And then we're gonna give it your classic front probe here, just very gingerly. Um, not seeing any action here of any sort. Make sure we got a good ground. We stick on 12 volts. Yet yeah, we do. I'm gonna go back into. Maybe it's got to be plugged in. It might have to be plugged in. I doubt it, but maybe. We'll do it, we'll do it in place. And then get that from the back side. Give it a tap. There we go. Now we're cooking. Well, let me. I gotta move some stuff here, folks. Let's see. Do we have you oriented correctly now? Okay, we do. So. Let's, uh, so right now we're plugged, oh, our battery's almost dead. We're gonna have to hustle. Right now, plugged in, we are probably, how many volts? Two volts per division. Where's our zero? So we're two, four, it looks like five volts. Uh, so let's go through, let's change our scale here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just a, just a whisker over the five volt setting here. Put our zero all the way to the bottom there. Now we can see. Sometimes I cheese a little, just move our trigger up, see where we're at. Yeah, so we're at uh, actually just a blonde one under five. So let's move that back down. We're going to go here, go to our monitors, and we'll select duty cycle. Our duty. Because right now our blower is on high, so let's kick her back a peg. Let, oh, let's see, that's off. That's low speed. Next one up. Next one up. Next one up. Next, next, next. You see our duty cycle over there? Are you guys, oh, can you guys see? So, look in the upper left hand corner. That's our duty. That's full beans. And then I'm going to bring her down progressively one notch at a time. Oh, look at that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm so childish. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then you just keep bringing her back. This thing's got a lot of clicks on it. It doesn't just have high, medium, low. So that's probably why it uses the style controller. So that's off. And then, like I said, you progressively bring it up. The duty cycle gets higher. You can see it in the waveform until we hit full beans. See what I'm saying? So that was easy. We didn't even need a, uh, whatever it is, you know, a wire diagram, I suppose they call them. So here we go. We're just screwing off at this point. So there's off, low, and then as you bring her up to high, wee, wee. All right, that's it, it needs a blow resistor. Quit screwing around. So a lot of these systems are kind of the same folks when you're looking at blow resistors and you see that you only have a couple wires that's typically how they're controlled usually a duty cycle control uh at least in my small world of cars that i work on i want to put this baby on the charger uh so let's see if we can get a blow resistor now there is the ultimate question the meaning of life we're not going to get that deep but the ultimate question is why did the blow resistor fail Lots of reasons. A, it's old and just kind of crapped out. Or B, the blower motor itself draws too much current. C, that current spec isn't published, so you're just guessing. Uh, you either get a new blower motor and compare that, or you put a resistor in it, and if that one's to bed in like a week, you tell your customer, it's like, hey, well, I'll warranty that out, but we should put a motor in it. That's typically how it goes if uh, every mechanic's being honest. Uh, or C, or D, forget what letter we're on. You could have poor airflow through the HVAC unit, overheating the resistor, causing it to burn out. Lots of options. But first we're gonna start with the resistor itself. Or, as I like to call it, the piece of the resistance. We have got the blower resistor coming. Uh, I do want to look. I did order a cabin filter also. I assume this has one. I was looking in service data while I was waiting for the parts fella to pick up the phone. Now she's equipped with the advanced airbags. And it says that it does have one. So 
So we're going to have a little look-see, unhook the old cable here. And survey says, usually Nissans are a disaster. They put their cabin filters in the stupidest locations. This one. Oh baby, this one doesn't look as horrible as some Nissans. You gotta crumple it right up into a little ball. You stick it through a hole about that big and then let it open up. I, I kid you not, folks. The guy who invented that Nissan. You guys working in shops know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, can we do this without dropping a ton of garbage down into the blower motor? She looks like a two-piecer. Get a hold of this sucker. Oh, come on, you piss pot. Oh man, she's loaded. It's all gonna go in that blower motor. I hate these ones that are right smack on top of the blower motor because you got no choice. Well, it's not too bad, not too bad. So, she is slightly dirty. Stick that one down there now, there's a number two. Doing a lot of heavy breathing for changing a blower motor. Uh, camping filter here. We're gonna give that one a slide to the side. Very gingerly. We don't wanna drop all the stuff off it. Cause she's loaded up too. There she is, folks. It's got a little bit of stuff in it. Completely plugged. Ah, you can still shine a light through it, old school style, right? Huh? It's good. Tap it off, put it back in, but you can have a little look. She's filthy. Is that the cause of the burned up blower resistor? Probably not. It sounds good, though, when you're selling it. Does it need to be done? Yeah, it needs to be done, obviously. We'll probably have to get up in there with a blow nozzle and give that a little uh, twirl. I doubt. Yeah, it's got a grate over top of it, but still, you get crap that falls down in there. Anyhow. We'll wait for the parts store to show up. It's not an apple. They didn't have any, nor could they get any for today. That was disappointing. One thing I did notice, as I mentioned, this was unusual to have this style blower resistor on a non-climate controlled system. When I looked it up through Napper, they showed with or without climate control, with or without automatic climate control. And this system takes the blower resistor for the one with automatic climate control even though it does not have auto climate control. And you're like, well, Eric, oh, somebody put the wrong one in. Well, that's what I said too, in my head to myself. So I called Nissan, got the OEM number, crossed it to double check, and then actually had the Nissan guy get the one he had, and he said, no, it's got big cooling fins on it. So boom, uh, so that's that. And they both take the same connector, so it potentially uh, could fool you. So anyhow. Let's get a screwdriver here. The wear toolkit with belt clip for the mechanic with the on the go lifestyle. We'll use our classic wear -a kit. If we use it too much, we'll wear it out. <laughs> classic wear a joke. Kind of cheesy, I know. I think they're 7 mil. Of course, they're not. Hopefully, they're 5.5. That's what they look like. 5.5 mm. Who came up with that size, anyways, huh? Who's that guy? Tried to make a proprietary size, then it failed. I can just see him in the meeting. They're at the meeting and they're like, all these people are taking apart our cars. And the guy's like, I know, let's make a size that they don't have. Not five. Not a six, 
I bought a 5.5. I don't know if that's exactly how it went down. Long-winded little guys, ain't they? I don't even know if you guys can see. I can't, but that's okay. It's not a motor channel, not a how to make a video channel. There she is, baby. Oh, you guys can't see, can you? I'm just kidding, I thought you could, but. So there she is. Made in USA. That's got some numbers on it, but yeah, there she is, folks. That's that. Now he's going for the new one. It looks like the OG. Give you a little better look. See at these here. And truth be told, this could be causing some of the problem. You know, if that resistor overheated, uh, because the resistors are very dependent on airflow through the dash. And you can see, she's plugged pretty tight. You know, regardless if you can shine the light through it. Yeah, she's pretty cruddy. So, are they original? Let me see, they're probably Nissan ones. Nobody ever changes these things. There's the arrow. So we gotta slip this baby in. Push it to the side. So make sure they got pushed all the way over there. You probably can't see, but that's okay. This is where you got to trust me, folks. I think Chevrolet way back in the day when they first came out in the Silverados, I think they had a uh, a double donger filter set up. If I remember correctly. Could be wrong. Get this baby back on there. There's that. See the point. Oh! There's our new resistor. Uh, that should fit right back up in the hole. Get the old screws here, put the screws right to it. Kind of in an awkward position. And let's see, where are you? We'll get one to hold it. Almost got it in. There we go. Yeah, baby. Okay. Then we gotta get the last one in, which I don't think we can get with the screwdriver handle because it was too long. Always my problem. Let's see. There we go. So we'll use this. that one up snug that one up we'll plug it up make sure you trim off if you cut this back a little bit trim it off so so you don't look like a scumbag click that in there that goes back up in the little slot where's this thing when you put this thing back on there a little retainer it's kind of a neat idea there's that. Now before we plug this in, we're gonna see if it lights up a light. We'll stick our test light. She's the four amp variety. Right there, let me see if I can prop it up on something so you guys can see, so we can all see. Look at that. And we're off right now. And that's on full blast. And it's going back off. 
Let's see here. She thinks that she's one of them smart modules. So there's one click, two click, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close your eyes, it's like the sun. And then back off. Wow. Now that we've melted our retinas, we should be able to plug it up. Let's see if the blower works. Oh, sugar. You know what? You know what, you mother lovers? You know why that burned up? I think this is junk. Um, we don't want to melt it. We don't want this one to go nuclear. Let's unplug this thing again. Let's make sure our resistor's still good. That should have just kicked that blower motor on, but you know what, I think she's, she's lacking on us. Let's make sure this thing's still good. That baby's still good. All right, that's still good. Blower motor's junk. Let's see. Oh yeah, she junk. I just heard it go ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? All right, that thing's still good. I just want to make sure we're not burning up our resistor. So before we get stupid here, wow, I feel like a jerk hole. Let's take this out because she is she tight. We gotta get to the one screw, so we gotta pull this little thing out right here, I think. Alright folks, I gotta come clean, I'll be honest with you. Why did I stick a test light on there initially? Well, because typically when you go in there with the blow nozzle and you're blowing out the junk, usually you hear the old whirly gig in here whipping around, and I didn't. So in my belly, I told myself, I said, so if you didn't hear that whizzing around, maybe she seized up. And then when I was off camera waiting on the parts, fixed a few other cars, I thought, nah, that can't be. I just didn't hear it. Oh, I... Yeah, she threw a rod. Should have went with my freaking gut. I knew I didn't hear it twirling. Son of a hoo hoo. Awesome. Just like that, folks, the brand new one is here. And yeah, we'll find out which way it goes in. Probably the plug facing this way would be helpful. Made in Tijuana, it says. Let's get that baby started. Get the old ratchet here. Mm. I don't want to go too much with it. Just enough to hold it. Get that one back there. That's the nice thing about plastic. You don't even need them straight, baby. You just need them started. That's not true, folks. Do a good job. Do it like you were working for your mother. Unless you don't like your mother. Get that one. That one. That one. All torqued to spec. Okay. Third time's a charm, folks. Let's get the key back on. Are you ready? Three, two, one. We got a whistle. Sounds like she got a turbo, man. Wow, that's cool. All right, folks, well, that's that. Blower resistor, blower motor in, fixed, done. Cabin air filter, so she's got good airflow and, uh, you know, it's got all its gears now. And everything seems to work well. Guys should be happy. But I'd be willing to bet that that blower motor was making some noise before it all gave up the ghost. So keep an eye on your blower motor.
or an ear rather if you hear it making some funky noise check it out uh, a couple things that could be causing it you know seized up bearings like in this case or brushes that are completely shot and getting ground up in there or some junk that just fell from the cabin air filter and got in there is getting all jiggly with it so anyhow I think you guys jiggle on down to that comment section the questions the comments the concerns while you're down there subscribe find us on the insty find us on the Facebook if you're over 60 and just remember viewers if I can do it you can do it thanks for watching